Do you wanna unfriend your inactive, locked, or deactivated friends on Facebook? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use multiple tools for Facebook to find the friends that you don't wanna be friends with anymore. Make sure to stick around until the end. Welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. I am Jonathan and I'm here to help you find the tools to build an income online. If you get value out of these videos, make sure that you like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified every time that I upload a new video. So if any of us have used social media for marketing before, then we know how sometimes every friend request, follow, like isn't given with the best intentions. Sometimes I even get people sending me spammy messages the second I accept their friend request. I've since started to screen my friend requests. But you know what? Sometimes people slip through the cracks. Spammers, blocked accounts, inactive members, or maybe they just aren't your target market. It could be any reason. But if those accounts are not interacting with your account, then they are hurting your account. So what do we do? Well, there is abundance of software, apps, and Chrome extensions available that will scan your profile and give you all the information you need to keep your Facebook account clean. The only problem is that most of them aren't really reasonably priced. That's why I recommend using multiple tools for Facebook to get this valuable information. Mind you, those other options are still good, but you just can't beat this price. Now, multiple tools for Facebook is a Chrome extension. I'll put a link to a more in-depth review that I did in the description. Once it's installed, just click the little icon. It's a little gear, the top corner of your Chrome browser, and it'll bring up this control panel, giving you a little information. Uh, but what we're talking about today is just purely getting rid of inactive members and just getting rid of the people that aren't really uh, helping your engagement on Facebook. So the easiest way that I've figured to do that, uh, and again, this is like a, I, like I was saying, this is a, a, a less expensive version, so there are limitations, but I'll just show you. This is not an affiliate program, it's just he does this all through donations. He, I think it's, I'm not sure why, but he does it through donations. Uh, but $10 for one account, and then if you're doing like multiple accounts, you could do three for 20 or five for 30, which, you know, makes it sense. But uh, if you're doing this for just your personal account, $10 and you're set. So uh, I didn't want to go over this too long. I just wanted to just let you know that those were, that's how much it costs for the, the premium version. There are some free ver uh, features that they include in like their their light version of this software, but it's $10. If you're, if you are actually using this to try and market on Facebook, $10 is nothing compared to what you're, you should be actually investing in yourself in order to market on Facebook. So I'll just show you over here. First you go to friend remover. And the reason why I go here first, even though I don't really use friend remover to remove the friends actually. So you just, Go here and as you can see, the, the ones that are here just by default are locked by Facebook as well as deactivated accounts. You don't want these people to be your friends or just be connected to you because deactivated can be somebody that you know violated the community guidelines in their account or maybe it's a fake account and you happen to friend somebody was fake or somebody was, a, like I was saying, a spammer might have gotten through. And then locked by Facebook, that's probably somebody that uh, violated the community guidelines or something to that nature. Not not necessarily what it is, but it, it's a possibility that they violated the community guidelines. So what I could do here is, I don't even need to think about it, click all of those, and I could just say bye-bye. Are you sure you want to remove these 10 friends? Unfriend. And all those friends are just one after. You don't want to do too many too fast. One thing that I wish that this tool would do would be more of like a timer. The best way to get, to find out who's not interacting with your profile is just to go to interaction scanner. And if you go to the interaction scanner, it gives you a couple different categories of things that you could narrow it down. Like if you want to say you, anybody that's not, has no mutual friends maybe, and you've never mes messaged on messenger, or zero comments and zero reactions. These are people that have, you know, there's not many, but these are people that have never interacted with my Facebook account ever. So 
I can go a couple different routes. So if I wanted to, I could just take this person. We've never interacted, but I can go over to this one that's friend friends log. So I could just use this and scan to see when we became friends. So I became friends on the first March 1st, 2020 with this person and we've never interacted. So it's been a month and a half and we've never interacted. What I prefer to do in this situation, so maybe I'll message them and I'll say, hey, we've been friends for six weeks or three months or whatever it happens to be. And I could find that out with this, this number right here. And I don't have to, but that way, sometimes if the only reason that you're not showing up in people's feeds is because you've never messaged each other. Maybe you just need to message somebody and then they, um, they'll, Facebook will say, hey, this person's messaging this person private messages, and then they'll start to show your posts and their posts in e each other's feeds. So that's an option. You don't have to do that. Or you can just go here and say like, hey, they haven't interacted with me in six weeks. Uh, that's too much for me and say goodbye. Or you could even narrow it down less and then decide if you would like to reach out to the person or not. But yeah, all what it takes is just finding out who, who has been interacting with your profile and who hasn't. Just put the zeros in and that's a great way to figure out who hasn't interacted at all with your profile. And then just, you know, simply just select the ones that you want and hit goodbye. This program, this doesn't have like a timed uh, unfriending, uh, which like I said, it, for the price, uh, there's some features that are missing, but it doesn't have a, a timer to unfriend. So I would just select a couple and then hit unfriend and then maybe come back an hour later and hit unfriend and then you know just go through it slowly. So I hope that this guide on how to remove friends using multiple tools for Facebook will help you improve your organic Facebook reach. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to make an income online using affiliate marketing, make sure to check out the first link in my description. Are you gonna use multiple tools for Facebook to remove inactive friends on Facebook, or do you prefer a different solution? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.